I want to keep monopolizing the questions towards tech, but I would really regret it if I didn't ask about the relationship between money and revolution and music. So my sister's a classical musician, and, and one of the things she tells her boyfriend when he neglects to listen to the message in the music is every revolution has the music behind it, right? Every revolutionary movement has sounds and, and culture that come into it. And I don't feel like my generation is, is so ignorant or uninvolved in politics that they don't care about it. But the musicians that they look, for, look towards for inspiration or that are communicating a revolutionary message or a politically aware message are few and far between. There are projects like Tom Morello's Firebrand Records, obviously what you do, obviously KRS-One, Rage, Refused from Sweden, etc. But the vast majority of the sort of progressive liberal elite musicians, which I think a lot of us are thinking of certain names right now, um, they do not communicate the type of message that I think most uh, most of us as consumers and as listeners of music would want to hear. Well, I'll just say that many of those people don't really have the political education to discuss these things. I mean, you'll find a panel discussion where they'll bring famous people, right? But what good is it when you have a famous person who's on a big label, who's on TV, that, pardon my French, doesn't know what the fuck they're talking about? You're just here because you're famous. When, then we delve into the whole concept of hero worship, right? So we find a person that we really are invested in, that we really like, we get to know this person, we start deluding ourselves that somehow we have anything in common with this individual, right? Just because a publicist released some small bracket of their life that you feel like you can hug on to so you can get the record and then buy your kid the $10 poster and some other dumb shit. The, the, the reality is this, is that person involved in their community, right? That says a lot about them. Is that person doing something or actively doing something outside of music to get back? They don't have to, to be a regular person, but they have to if they're gonna pass themselves off as a revolutionary. That's the difference. See, you, you wanna be a scumbag, you're welcome to be that, but then when you try to come back in, you know, you gotta do more than wipe your feet when you come back in my house. You know, I, I think that there's an old saying that when you wrestle with a hog, you get muddy and the hog gets muddy, but the hog loves it, right? So when, when you talk about these, these wild media frenzies, these people are just trying to be in the spotlight for anything, for any reason. Is it a sex tape? Did you get shot? You know what I mean? Is, 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 is your mom's dating an NFL player? And what the, you know what I mean? The most outlandish, the more insane, the better. You know, so it doesn't become about the message anymore. It just becomes about keeping that person's name in rotation because the longer they're in rotation, the higher they'll be on the iTunes chart for people to buy their records so they don't have to automatically scroll to the bottom. That has to do with the capitalist principle of um, co-op marketing, right? Co-op marketing is a very simple principle. Uh, if anyone's ever been to any supermarket to get food, just remember that the food that's located at three feet to five feet paid to be there more than the food that's located from three feet to one feet, right? right. It's not that when you go to a record store that you're, you, the, the, the owner's favorite artist is in the front. No, it's doublehead. That's not why the world works that way. <laughs> no, it's because some dude paid an extra 50 cents from every record that he has to have it there. So a lot of this isn't based on morality. It's based on exposure. People aren't really going to start a black power movement, right? Otherwise, they would be doing an entirely different thing. You know, they wouldn't be doing tax write-off donations. They would be changing the, the message that they have or the appearance or, or whatever it may be. 